Hello students. Today the topic of discussion is the preparation of acetanilide from any lean. First we'll see what are the chemicals that is required for the preparation. Aspirin, acetic anhydride, sodium acetate, concentrated hydrochloric acid, water and methylated spirit. We need apparatus, we need beaker, conical flask, funnel, stirrer and the pipette. These are the requirements we should have before the starting of the preparation. We need to see what is the principle. Principle first we'll see what is acetanilide. Acetanilide is an odorless solid chemical of leaf or flake like appearance. It was the first aniline derivative which was found to have analgesic as well as antipyretic properties. Its medicinal use is analgesic and antipyretic in pain and fever. How acetanilide is prepared? Acetanilide is prepared by acetylation of aniline with acetic anhydride in the presence of sodium acetate and hydrochloric acid. NH2 group is attached to the benzene in aniline. You can see in the NH2, two hydrogens are there. So one hydrogen is replaced and that active hydrogen atom present in the NH2 that is the amino group is replaced by the acetyl group of acetic anhydride that is CH3CO. Acetyl group is attached to the NH and one H is removed. You can see the reaction then you can understand it better way that NH2 is there and here CHTC double bond that is acetyl group is there. In the, in, after the reaction, the CHTCO O, that part of the acetic anhydride is removed and, and NHCO CH3 group has attached to the benzene ring. The H that was removed from the aniline combined with the, the CH3C double bond O, CH3C double bond O, O and H. It, the, that H combined and formed the glacial acetic acid as the byproduct. See the mechanism. Just NH2, here C double bond O and O, here the oxygen is withdrawing the electron towards itself that's why a partial positive charge we are getting here from here H will be removed and NH will, will be attacked with the COCH3 and in the later step NHCOCH3 will be attached to the benzene ring and acetanilide will form and as a byproduct a glacial acetic acid is formed. What is the procedure? See the procedure first. About 4 ml of aniline was taken and to this added 3.7 ml of concentrated HCl which was dissolved in 100 ml of water and stirred. The mixture is stirred until we get a clear solution. We get a clear solution in the image you can see. To the clear solution, now we have to add 5.3 ml of acetic anhydride and we have to continue the stirring. After the stirring, we again add 5.7 gram of sodium acetate which was dissolved in 20 ml of water and will pour that mixture into the same beaker that was containing clear solution that is a mixture of aniline, anil, aniline, HCl and acetic anhydride to the same beaker we will be adding 5.7 gram of sodium acetate dissolved in 20 ml of water and we will keep on stirring. To the mixture what we got in the previous slide after the stirring we will add ice cubes to it and will continue the stirring. What we will see after the stirring and addition of the ice cubes that some product has settled down. You can see it a real image when you perform in the lab, but here you will see that in, at the bottom a brown color 
acetanilide has been settled down what we will do now it has been settled down so we need to filter it we'll take a filter and a conical flask and we'll put a filtered paper along the funnel and we'll try to filter the precipitate of acetanilide that has formed it will now be washed with the water means the same funnel will take out and will uh, will keep it over another conical flask and will pour cold water over the separated mixture that is acetanilide will try to crystallize it with cold water containing methylated spirit will will directly take the compound in a beaker and will add some extra amount of cold water that will contain 10% of methyl 10% methanol that is also called methylated spirit after that we'll again filter it and we will get crude acetanilide this crude acetan acetanilide will be wet so we'll wait for some time till it get dry and then then we will take the weight of the compound obtained and we'll also determine the melting point in the lab and after the, the after taking the weight we'll also calculate the practical yield of the acetanilide we obtained during the experiment we'll see the calculation here also we know that the molecular weight of aniline is 93 grams here we have taken 4 ml of aniline so it is in gram we need to convert it into ml that is in the volume part so the density of aniline is 1.02 gram per centimeter cube so 93 gram is equal to 91.176 ml of aniline we also know the molecular weight of acetanilide is 135 gram so with the reaction that i have already shown that aniline is getting converted into the acetanilide so 93 gram that is 91.176 ml of aniline gives you 135 gram of acetanilide so 4 ml of aniline that we have taken in this experiment will give how much 4 into 135 divided by 91.176 ml that will give you 59.92 gram of acetanilide theoretically it is not necessary that you will get exact 5.92 gram of acetanilide in the lab it will may contain certain impurities so the weight the the, um, the weight may increase or may decrease decrease because there will be loss there will be loss during during filtration there will be loss during the transfer from one beaker to another beaker so there are so many many chances that the product loss is there so we will see how much percentage yield we got so practical yield is how that the weight you will take in the lab using uh, um using the weight weighing weighing machine uh, weighing machine and divide it with the theoretical yield it means practical yield that the weight of the compound you prepared divided by 5.92 and multiply it with 100 this will give you the percentage yield so i think now you can understand how the preparation of acetanilide from aniline takes place thank you so much